Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I'm going to be doing a spread in my Erin Condren for the week of July 22nd to July 28th. And I'm really excited because this weekend we will be going to a wedding. It is my boyfriend's cousin's wedding, so I felt like this was just such a perfect kit. And especially like the theme of the kit, I felt like it suited um, the wedding theme. So this is a beautiful kit by Regina Laughs. And so as you can see, it comes with four full pages and then a bow sampler, which she always includes in a kit. That's just from my experience and from what I've seen other people get when they purchase from her. And so her bow sampler includes a lot of kiss cut icons, some quarter boxes and two half boxes. So I feel like it's so perfect to add to the kit. That way you have extra boxes and icons to work with. And I love her icons. They are so cute and functional. I just feel like they're perfect for your everyday planning. And so again, this is a four page full kit. And so I like her kits a lot. I've used one of her kits before. And I just feel like her formatting is perfect for the way I plan with the white space. I feel like it's a blend between a mini kit and a full kit if that makes any sense. So I'll just go over all the pages with you. So this is the full page or the page with the full boxes and I just feel like they're so beautiful. I'm typically not into like sailor themed kits but I really enjoy the way she made it especially like this double box right here with the cafe. It's just so so pretty and then here you have the different washi strips and then the washi for the bottom. I think this is so beautiful. And I love like the different um, design she did. She added like anchors and, or like the, the wheel, the steering wheel, whatever you guys call that thing. <laughs> I should know my boyfriend sales, but that's fine. Anyways, and then here you have the three heart checklist, flags, scallop boxes, the gorgeous weekend banner. Her weekend banner is standard for all of her kits, but I'm obsessed with the font. Like I'm obsessed with it. And then you have tons of half boxes and circle icons at the bottom. And then here you have all of the headers, um, some scallop headers here, some more headers or washi strips, whatever you want to use them for, two habit trackers and two sidebar trackers. Um, this is perfect for what I use for my sidebar and then a lot of really cute deco pieces. I think this is so beautiful. When I hauled this, I was so excited because it has that Villa Beautiful um, pen as well. So one thing is I don't use this many headers, so that's kind of like where I feel like I, I could end up getting more stickers, but it's just my preference and it's nothing that the shop owner did or didn't do. Um, so those are all the pages and then I felt like silver would look really good with this kit. So I don't have like a lot of blue and silver washi or if anything at all. Um, that would match this kit because I feel like this is more of a navy blue and I don't want to pull in what I think could work. Um, but anyways, I haven't really been pulling in a lot of washi like I try to, but I haven't been doing it lately, which I'm okay with because I really want to stay true to the kit and just use everything that I can. And so this top one is from Rose Color Days. They are header overlays, which is perfect. And then these bottom two are from Simply Gilded. You guys know I use this 10 millimeter silver one all the time. And this is a five millimeter white with silver bows. I feel like it's just um, something to pull in if I end up changing my mind and using washi. So again, I'm going to be planning for this week of July 22nd to the 28th. And um, also I do like plan the day before sometimes. So it's just really dependent. I plan a little bit every day day or every other day so I'm able to actually fill out things I know are going to happen the next day and then I fill out things that I did already that did already happen so when you guys look at it it just looks like one full fluid video you know so um but I do a little bit of filming every single day because I actually asked some had someone ask me like what my setup is and how I plan and stuff like that um but really like I try like for example right now is Tuesday morning and I'm going to plan all of Monday and then pre-plan everything that's going to happen for today and then um, some of Wednesday as well and then you know follow up again on Wednesday and probably fill things out that I didn't do or and so on and so forth so especially with this weekend I'm going to be out of town I probably won't even film <laughs> until Sunday afternoon again when I get back home so that's probably going to be a um that, that's going to be the way that I plan for that weekend. So anyways, I'm sorry that I kind of went on a TED talk there, but if you're interested in watching, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys and let's get into this video. 
Sorry guys, I am filming this early in the morning, so I just woke up and I haven't had coffee yet. Um, and also there's tons of construction still going on, so I do apologize for all of those things. Um, so I will start putting down the washi here, and I think it's such a cute touch that she added the little footprints on the sand. I didn't notice that until I started laying down the washi. One thing I will tell you is that I can't, I don't know the difference um, in all the papers, but I don't think this is premium matte or a removable matte. I think it's just matte paper um, because when I would try to lift the paper up, if I made a mistake, I would actually notice that the, the corners of the paper would curl and they would completely lose their stickiness. So that was really hard to work with, especially since I do love layering and um, putting, you know, when I put stickers on top of each other, especially with the headers and when I put scripts, that was really hard to work with. You'll see towards the end of the video, I do switch out some of the things on the sidebar a little bit because I couldn't reuse the um, sticker after completely taking it off. If you do want to remove things, I highly should suggest just using undo. So there I was trying to figure out which date covers to pull in because Regina Laugh kits do not come with... Um, day covers. So I know that this blue isn't completely a perfect match, but I felt like it looks like a water. It looks it looks like it could be water or like the paint stroke. And I felt like it went well with the theme of this being like a sailor related theme or on the water. And I like that it was a different gradient of blue still because it gave, um, you know, it just added a little bit more to the kit. So here I'm just going to go ahead and put down all of the headers. Um, nothing special here. I just kind of want to go through these really quickly. So if you've been watching me for a while, I do like to put down my foundation of my plan, um, my plan with me. So I will put down the washi at the bottom, do the sidebar, all of my headers, day covers, and the full boxes. Now that I think about it, I've really come a long way with planning because or doing my decorative memory planning is that I used to never care about day covers. It's funny because I really was like, ah, it's whatever. I don't need that. I always tried to find ways to cut um, or be, you know, or budget while I was um, planning. So I slowly started like buying things I never would have bought like maybe six months ago. It's crazy. Like day covers, day dots, um, headers. Like I used to not care about those things. I used to just work with whatever the kit had. But the more I had, like, you know, of course, my YouTube channel, my Instagram, um, first of all, having an Instagram is such, like, it's so bad in a sense that you see all the sales and you just want to buy everything. So you really have to have, like, good discipline because when I created my Instagram for planning, I was just going crazy buying everything. Um, and with, and to be honest, though, I, I really felt like I did that, one, because I was excited and secondly, because I just started my YouTube channel, so I did want to, like, build my collection a little bit. So that's just the excuse I'll go with. <laughs> I think it's pretty fa I think it's pretty valid. Um, now I've definitely been a lot more frugal or just mindful with what I buy because I want to make sure I do use a lot of my collection, which I've been doing. So it's really, it's really a, um, a good thing. So now to the day by day, I went ahead and I used a tasseled planner um, elliptical as well as a circle icon from the kit to mark that I did facet cardio and the facet cardio script is from honey inked she customized those for me and then now I'm going to use um, all the flags I'll be using to mark work are from Ciela stickers and then the silver script is from Sarah Elizabeth Prince so I will be using this method the entire time throughout the week and so I'm going to use a Regina Laugh scallop circle which is you know, perfect for this kit because it is her sticker and layer a cell phone icon from the kit to just mark something private. So I will write that in off camera. And then I'm going to use a rose colored days squiggle in that little space there. Um, I really love this full box. It's so cute with the navy blue and the pink. I just think it's really perfect. And then I'm going to use a Samantha May sticks food, um, meal icon or like the fork and spoon. Hers are my favorite. She has the cutest little bow and it's just perfect. And her paper is amazing. Like it's removable. And one thing I will say, since I use the Hobonichi as well, a lot of stickers um, do not come off of that, but I, but her stickers just come off easily. And so I don't know what she's doing, but she's, she's doing it. So, <laughs> and so I just want to use that to mark that um, we had spinach veggie pasta which was really delicious and a good alternative if you're trying to do like a low carb 
And then I used a planner from the kit as well as a tassel planner heart to mark that I uploaded my Hobonichi plan with me. And then now onto Tuesday, I used a scallop box to mark $2 Tuesday. Um, I wanted to just post $2 Tuesdays on my Instagram and I used a cart icon from the kit. Um, I don't think I really bought anything, but I do like to share stuff because I know um, I know it helps me when I see people post um, like $2 Tuesday deals. I know I love watching like Viv loves to plan because she always has everything. And I just want to be able to help my following as well. Um, I've had a few people like ask for discount codes and like if they if I know of any and it's always really great because like keep asking me questions. I, I definitely will be more than happy to try to find the discount codes for you or I am probably um, might know who the PR girls are for that shop or something like that. So I used a um, Hobonichi box from Samantha May 6 to mark that I did um, film my Erin Condren plan with me and layered a camera from the kit. I marked work and then um, this quarter box is from the bow sampler that came with the kit as well to mark a meeting. And that really cute pencil with the bow is from my spoiled planner. I marked that I met up with, um, uh, a realtor named Judy and I just had to drop something off to her. So I used the credit card icon as well as the exclamation icon from Samantha May Sticks. I also used an, a character from Every Minute A Story to, um, which is so cute. That's literally how I felt. Um, it was just raining so much this day and it wasn't just like little raindrops. It was, there were like huge raindrops and it was so loud. You can hear it on the roof. It was just crazy. And so on to Wednesday, I just put a little bit of, um, because I pre-planned Wednesday. So what I did was I went ahead and used a quarter box and then a sleep mask from Tassel Planner and a sleep in script sticker from, um, Honey Inked to mark that I slept in and then or I'm going to sleep in. <laughs> and then I went ahead and I used a coffee icon from the kit. And the cameras I will be using this week are from Magic Prince Co. And that really cute film block lettering is from um, Kinsey's Creations. And I used a scallop box from the kit and a tennis shoe sticker from, oh, sorry, from Avenue K Design to mark that I did facet cardio. I don't know why I didn't use another script. Like, that's kind of bothering me. Anyways. I marked work and then I used a scalloped header from the kit that says important to just mark that I had three meetings um, or three things going on that day and I just used the um, bow stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs to make like little bullet, bullet points and then I used a giving girl marker divider between that. Um, what, you, what I might have missed saying was I also... Um, put all of the deco pieces at the top and I cut off the top of some of the pieces so I could go ahead and um, re reuse some of them because they were a little bit larger and so now on to Thursday I went ahead and marked that I did facet cardio using two icons from um, the working out sheet from Tassel Planner and then I'm going to and use a washi strip and marked work I also before all of this I did fill out my sidebar a little bit um, so I'm sorry if you didn't, if I didn't talk about that. Um, and then I used a quarter box to mark meeting the same way I did on, um, Tuesday. And then I used a, um, I think this shopping bag is from Anna Luna Co. It was from a freebie from my, um, what are they called? From my sticker book, my leftover sticker book. So I, I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. And that really cute money icon is from Ciela Stickers. And then I used a camera and the little stickers from the, the kit to mark that I filmed my plan with me. And this bento box is from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had a bento box for dinner. <laughs> and now on to Friday, I am going to mark TGIF using a washi strip and the balloons from the kit. And this TJF script sticker is from Netty Designs. It's in silver foil and it's just so perfect and dainty and I just love the sizing. And then I marked, um, or I'm going to mark work, but I will take this off in a little bit, but I marked coaching in the morning and I layered a, what's, what are these things called? Paperclip icon from the kit as well. So I will move this and then mark work because I kind of did that out of order. So bad Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> um, just kidding. Okay, so I will move that. This weekend was not a weekend for me. Um, it didn't feel like it because my boyfriend and I drove up to Pennsylvania and it just, you know, when you travel for a weekend, you really feel like you just lose your entire weekend. And it was a fun event. We went to his cousin's wedding, but I just, 
I was like, where did the weekend go? You know, most of it, you know, like six hours of it was driving and then there and back. And then we, I just didn't really get to do anything all weekend since we got home in like pretty late on Saturday, on Sunday. Um, late to me is like late afternoon and I just want to sleep then and I really didn't get into planning. I filmed the rest of this so that's why I'm a day late so I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, so now to finish off Friday, I'm gonna, I marked that I got my nails done. That bow is from Tassel Planner and the nail polish sticker is from Cielo Stickers. And I used a quarter box to mark that I got Chinese takeout and that takeout, um, silver icon is from Tassel Planner as well. I used a Rose Colored Days Squiggle as a divider and the TV icon from the kit. We watched um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It was such a long title, so I just put the second half of it. Um, and then so now on to Saturday, I'm going to use a um, car doodle from the from White Deer Stationery. I love her car doodles. They're so cute. And I'm going to layer a Simply Watercolor Co. Heart in that, um, in like the window to mark that we're driving up to Pennsylvania. And then I used a quarter box to mark that we had sushi for lunch and that sushi icon is from Avenue K Design. Now I'm going to use this, um, they're eyelashes and I don't know what shop they're from. They're from my leftover sticker book. And I was really proud of myself, you guys. I used a lot of my leftover stickers or tried to. Because um, I don't like wasting stickers and then you can really find like a good gem in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this one. And I, I'm so sorry I can't remember where those eyelashes are from. But I went to get ready. And I don't really get ready often and like do, like do the full thing. My hair, makeup, dress, heels, all that stuff. So I wanted to mark that. So we went ahead and went to um, his cousin's wedding. And I just marked that with a half box um, and a tassel planner heart in the middle. Not tassel planner, sorry. Clever Gal Crafts heart in the middle. And then that... Um, like the celebration icon from the kit. That bow divider is from Paper Blush Bar as well as the camera and the super cute wine bottle and glass is from, um, uh, who's it from? Crafts by Towie. So those are new shops that I just got um, Happy Meal this past week so I was really excited to use those and well anyways I had Paper Blush Bar a while I just completely forget where, where I put them so I saw them I was like oh I gotta use these <laughs> and so um we took photos and you know when you dress up you want to take photos with your significant other and your family and friends and then I so the wedding had an open bar and their open bar was solid like they had some really good options and you know your girl took advantage of that. I didn't get like drunk or anything but it was like so good to just be able to enjoy a few beverages and not pay for it. Um, Okay, so now on to Sunday, I used a coffee cup icon from the kit to mark that. I just had coffee by the pool. We had stayed with my boyfriend's parents um, at their house, and they have this gorgeous home that they um, renovated, and just enjoying the view was really nice. And then we drove back to Penn oh, sorry, back to Virginia. I also filmed, and um, I went ahead and marked that I was reunited with my puppy, and um, I know that sounds silly, but I missed him. <laughs> and then we planned on meal prepping. And also doing laundry. That cute laundry sticker is from my spoiled planner. And then I used another Giving Girl bow divider. Oh, and that bow on that last full box on Sunday is from Paper Shire, who was known as Toffee Bananas. I just felt like that was such a cute touch because the pink was literally perfect. All right, guys, here are the leftover stickers, and I have plenty left over. I will definitely be keeping a lot of these stickers to reuse in the future. So here is a Viv Wiggle for you, and I, now looking at this, I feel like the day covers really don't match. Um, like, they're a different kind of blue. They're more turquoise, but I don't mind it. I think it kind of gives a good variation because there's different kinds of blues. There's, like, a light blue, dark blue, and stuff like that, so I'm okay with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.